going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to Funnel Heads. So Carnival Cruise Line just announced some news that I wanted to go over. It was funny because I was actually in the process of editing a video that I recorded earlier, which is actually a pretty lengthy one. Uh, it is the Carnival Mardi Gras overview. So hopefully you guys will be excited about that. It's basically the everything from the embarkation, debarkation, food, drinks, entertainment, and so much more. So uh, that video hopefully will come out tomorrow now. But wanted to get this out um, before anything else and that is Carnival Cruise Lines officially and finally breaks ground on their newest Bahama cruise port. Now this timeline for the port to be finished is late 2024 so by then the Carnival Celebration and the Carnival Jubilee will be up and running and they can use this port as well as of course the entire Carnival fleet. Uh, now, the new port will be on the Grand Bahama Island, which Carnival actually originally started this process back in 2017, but because of course COVID and then actually the major factor, which was Hurricane Doreen, which I believe was a Category 5 that hit Bahamas a few years back, um, they kind of put these plans on the back burner. Uh, now, the 369 acre cruise port will be located on the southern part of the island, and the pier where the ship stock, uh, they plan on building it where two XL class. Um, two XL class ships can fit at the same time, whether it be the Mardi Gras Celebration, Celebration Jubilee, or so on or so forth. So there's going to be a lot of guests on this island. So hopefully they make it very spacious because we're talking about uh, upwards of 12,000 guests uh, on the island at one point or another. Now the details of the project um, will will be revealed in the uh, coming months but what we know so far is it will feature a designated nature reserve and an interior pool feature they're also going to have of course local retail stores whether it's souvenir shops or clothing whatever uh venues and of course food and beverage options that's really all we know at this point but it sounds like it's going to be another option for carnival cruise line to dock at uh starting in late 2024 so, so i think this is great news it just adds more options as far as itineraries goes and especially for these larger class ships the xl class the vista class a lot of those ships can't fit in some of these smaller ports so this gives them another option as well but let me know in the comment section below are you excited to you know see what this stop has to offer what amenities would you look for in a new carnival corporation owned stop uh, i'd love to read some of that but hopefully i'll see you right back here in the next video or on a cruise ship one day catch you later